With Halloween two days away, we thought you might be interested in a good ghost story, but for the next three nights, well, we won't be taking care of that. <laughs> you will be taking care of that with Haunted Nevada. Yeah, you love these last year, so we're gonna do it again. <laughs> we're gonna go to where some people consider Spook Central, and that is Virginia City. Now, we will start at the site of one of the really most horrific mine accidents in the Old West. The mine was called the Yellow Jacket, and the site is now called the Gold Hill Hotel. It's definitely a haunted place. I think the energy that's out there is due to the fact of the big tragedy that happened in 1869 when there was a horrible fire that broke out. 37 miners went down that day and were trapped and never recovered their bodies. And that, says Melody, has led to some interesting stories by guests staying at the hotel. They hear, like, in the middle of the night, a lot of rattles and chains. They hear just weird sounds, creaky sounds, um, definitely shaking of the bed. They love to play with our keys. Our keys are the old-fashioned type keys that are brass with a little ring and everything, and they love to put those in different places. Then there are the hotel's two permanent residents. We have in the hotel Rosie and William, who are very famous. You know, they're in four and five. And Rosie's room is like a rose scented oil. You could walk in her room, and all of a sudden it just appears and it can dissipate just as fast. It's really kind of amazing. And William, who is in number five, his is an old cherry pipe tobacco smell. And he loves to play tricks too. He's constantly playing with the keys and shaking the bed and turning the lights on and off. And then there's Miner's Cabin. While William and Rosie are friendly ghosts, that's not always the case with those in the cabin. Our team went in complete with electronic voice phenomena, or EVP, and a nationally known medium. Our verdict? After several hours of an electronic survey, we didn't have anything. But our medium? That was another matter. She felt contact almost immediately with someone or something on the other side, and it wasn't all niceness. And he's stuck. This one's stuck. This one does not want us here. That, of course, is a personal experience for the medium. Not everyone at the table could feel it. But then something happened which everyone did feel. Do you need a message relayed new to someone? Feel that? What is that? The table's the vibrating. Table's shaking. Yes, the table was shaking, but that's not even the weirdest part. One of our team members had to leave early, and in the parking lot, she asked me about a female spirit that she felt inside named Sarah. And she told me that I was the only person she had mentioned this to. I said I didn't know, but I'd ask our medium, Vicki Gay. So, back inside, this is the first thing I heard. Sarah, talk to these people, these spirits that are here. Sarah, can you come help? That's right, she's talking to Sarah. And Vicki and the person who said that they felt Sarah had not talked about this at all. So someone or something was definitely there. A special thanks oh. to the Virginia City Ramada Inn for taking care of us and treating us like family when we were there. Do you get nervous when you're covering these stories? No, there's seven other people. <laughs> 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 I'm all right. If I was by myself, I'd be terrified. However, I'd run. on Friday night, I did have the most frightening moment of my entire career in journalism. Oh, but we'll talk about that. Really? My heart's yeah. pounding just watching it. Yeah, it was it was it was fun, but it was it was nerve it was scary. Better you than me. Yeah. Good job. Good job, Bill. Thank you.